Railway electrification was initially adopted by the New Zealand Railways in New Zealand for long tunnels, the Oteira Tunnel, the Littleton Rail Tunnel and the two Tawa Tunnels of the Tawa Flat Deviation. Electrification of Wellington suburban services started with the Johnsonville Line and Carpety Line out of Wellington from the 1930s. Auckland suburban services were electrified in 2014-15. Electrification of long-distance services on the North Island Main Trunk NIMT dates from 1986, although Kawirail is now considering diesel operation of the NIMT. New long tunnels e.g. the Rimutaka Tunnel and the Kaimai Tunnel were operated by diesels, and the Oteira and Littleton tunnels have converted to diesel operation. From 1908 to 1953 there was an electrified mine railway from the Stockton Mine on the west coast of the South Island. Earlier NZR electrified routes from 1923 to the 1940s operated at 1,500 volts DC, but the NIMT and Auckland Suburban Services from 2014 used 25 kV AC, all with overhead catenary supply. The use of 16 kV AC at 16.7 Hz for the NIMT was proposed in 1950. Topic: History. Topic: Stockton Mine Railway. The Stockton Mine Railway was, in 1908, New Zealand's first electric railway. It carried coal from the Westport Stockton Coal Company's mine to the NZR railhead at Narkawau on the west coast of the South Island from 1908 to 1953, when it was replaced by an aerial cableway. The line was 10.5 km long, with 2.4 km in two long tunnels. The system used 275 volts DC from a low overhead line via trolley poles, and 915 mm gauge track. The seven locos were of low-built mine type. <laughs> Oteira and Littleton tunnels The first NZR line to be electrified in New Zealand was the Oteira Tunnel in 1923. This long tunnel 8.55 km with a steep gradient 1 in 33 could not have been worked by steam. In 1916 there was consideration of electrification of the entire 100 km section with steep grades from Jackson West Coast to Springfield Canterbury, but in 1923 just the Oteira Arthurs Pass section 14 km was electrified. In 1929 the Littleton Line through the Littleton Rail Tunnel was electrified. This tunnel opened in 1867 was short and had a lesser gradient than Oteira 0.3% but replacement of steam operation was desirable. Topic the Mertz and McClellan report the 1925 report by the English consulting firm of Mertz and McClellan was commissioned by the Minister of Railways Gordon Coates to investigate electrification of suburban services in the four main centres of Auckland, Wellington, Christchurch and Dunedin. For Christchurch it recommended electrification of the Littleton line but not the main lines north and south. Now only Auckland and Wellington have suburban passenger services. The firm's partner Charles Mertz of Newcastle-upon-Tyne had reported on Melbourne suburban electrification in 1908 and 1912. <laughs> Wellington electrification 
Several Wellington lines were then electrified, in 1938, the Johnsonville line, and from 1940 the Carpety Line section of the NIMT north of Wellington to Paikakariki through the two Tawa tunnels which were part of the Tawa flat deviation. This line also had steep gradients 1 in 57 on the bank from Parramatta up to Purua Bay. In February 1946 it was decided to electrify the remaining Wellington suburban lines to the Hutt Valley as there was a shortage of coal for locomotives, and also to replace commuter steam trains with emus, as the Hutt Valley was now largely residential with new state housing replacing market gardens. When the extra emus arrived in 1949 they were initially used for the Carpety Line to Pai Kakariki while the Hutt Valley lines to Upper Hutt and Melling were electrified. So in the Hutt Valley, emus were supplemented in peak periods by older carriages hauled by electric locomotives until they were replaced by the Gans Mavag emus from 1986. The Johnsonville and Melling lines were short branch lines which were originally part of the main line NIMT north and the Hutt Valley line to the Wairarapa, until the lines replaced by deviations. The sections of these lines that were retained were mainly used for suburban commuter services, with initially some stock traffic to Johnsonville later to Raroa. Topic: Dieselification. For two new long tunnels, diesel operation was more economic than a short electrified section. The Rimutaka Tunnel, 1955, and the Kaimai Tunnel, 1978. The Rimutaka Tunnel required an intermediate ventilation shaft. From 1967 diesel locomotives DA class replaced electric locomotives EW class on freight trains south of Pai Kakariki on the Carpety line after the track in some older tunnels was lowered, so diesels could run under the catenary into Wellington. On two existing electrified tunnels the electrified section was only a small part of the total line. Hence the Littleton Rail Tunnel was operated by diesel locomotives from 19 September 1970. The Otira Tunnel was long and steep, so for dieselization from 1997 a door and special ventilation fans were fitted electrification of the whole 100 km Springfield to Jackson section with its steep gradients had been considered in 1916 and in the 1950s, possibly using 50 Hz AC not DC. Electrification of the NIMT In 1950 electrification of the entire North Island Main Trunk NIMT from Auckland to Paikakariki the terminus of the Wellington electrification was proposed by the general manager F. W. Aiken, with 16 kV AC at 16.7 Hz used for the 657 root miles or 1,000 km of track. The system would have been similar to that in Germany also low frequency but at 15 kV AC. While the NIMT represented only 12% of the network length, it carried 40% of the system tonnage 13% more than total South Island tonnage. A hundred Bo-Bo locomotives would be required, and in Auckland there would be suburban electric services to Henderson east of Auckland and to Papakura 34 km south of Auckland. A report by two Swedish engineers and Adenius, was also obtained. Their report said electrification was a matter of necessity and estimated greater capital cost saving with AC electrification instead of DC 1,500 volts or 3,000 volts than Aiken had allowed for. But the proposal was dropped in favor of dieselization, with the first mainline DF-class diesel locomotives arriving in 1954. In 1974 a study was undertaken to consider the looming problem of 
traffic saturation on the mountainous central section, particularly the Raurimu spiral. In 1975 the study recommended electrification using 25 kV AC, but with decline in traffic was dropped. But in the late 1970s with the oil shocks of 1973 and 1979 the third national government embarked on several projects to reduce dependence on imported oil. Electrification of the 412 km center section of the NIMT was one of the Think Big projects, and probably the most successful of them. The project was approved in December 1981, specifications were prepared in 1982 and tenders let in 1982–83. Other works improved the line by easing curves and gradients and replacing signaling. Work started in late 1984 and was completed in 1988, though on the 24th of June rather than March as planned, with a train traversing the whole section. Brush traction supplied 22 F-class locomotives. The design was scaled up to the Eurotunnel class 9 locomotives supplied by Brush for the Channel Tunnel. In December 2016, Kawirail announced that it proposed to dieselize this section of the NIMT due to the age of the present electric locomotives and the cost and time delays in changing locomotives at each end of the electrified section at T Rapa and Palmerston North. Topic. Electrification of the Auckland Suburban Network The extensive suburban rail network around Auckland which had been operated by steam and then by diesel was electrified using 25 kV AC between April 2014 and July 2015. Electrification goes 34 km south to Papakura, and there are no immediate plans to extend further south on the NIMT to Pukekohe or as far as Hamilton the Waikato connection and earlier Auckland Hamilton passenger services have not succeeded. <laughs> <laughs> Existing systems Topic. Auckland Metro All electrified lines in the Auckland Metro area uses the 25 kV 50 Hz AC system. The system is fed from Transpower's 220 kV grid at two locations, Penrose and Southdown. Topic. North Island Main Trunk The North Island Main Trunk uses 25 kV 50 Hz AC. The system used is a 25-0-25 kV auto transformer system, with auto transformers spaced along the line interconnecting the positive 25 kV contact line and negative 25 kV feeder line. The system is fed at four traction substations, taking power from Transpower's 220 kV national grid. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Wellington Metro. All electrified lines in the Wellington Metro area use the 1,500 volts DC system. Johnsonville Line, completed 2 June 1938. Carpety Line, Wellington Station to Pai Kakariki completed 1940, extended to Paraparumu March 1983, extended to Waikanae 20 February 2011. Hutt Valley Line, Wellington Distant Junction to Taita completed 14 September 1953, extended to Upper Hutt 24 July 1955 Melling Line, Hutt Valley Junction to Lower Hutt, Western Hutt completed 23 September 1953, extended to Melling 1 March 1954. 
The Wellington Metro system is fed by 18 traction substations, taking power from Wellington Electricities Wellington Metro or Electra's Carpety Coast 11 kV distribution networks. There are also a number of cross-tie substations, which do not feed electricity into the lines but perform switching functions. Topic further reading Churchman, Geoffrey B. 1995. Railway Electrification in Australia and New Zealand. Sydney and Wellington, IPL Books. ISBN 0-908876-79-3. Leach, David, Stott, Bob. 1988. New Zealand Railways, The First 125 Years. Auckland, Heinemann Reed. ISBN 0 7900 8 Sinclair, Roy 1987. Rail, The Great New Zealand Adventure. Wellington, Grantham House. pp. 86–91. ISBN 1-86934-013-2. Pierre, Bill 1981. North Island Main Trunk, An Illustrated History. Auckland, Reed. ISBN 0-589-01316-5. Redwood, Roger Railway Electrification in New Zealand, An Illustrated Survey. Wellington, Southern Press. Pickering, A. J., Spicer, I. D. Ed. Pioneer Electrics, a survey of railway electrification in the South Island. Christchurch, Tramways Historical Society. CS1 maint, extra text, authors list link.